So in this video, we're going to have a look how to build a privacy fence and how to get from this to this. A few days ago, I installed these four posts. And if you want to start with that, make sure you check out my video, how to set your post, where I'm talking about how to determine your property line and mix your concrete and stuff like that. Once you have your posts, you're always going to start building your fence with these three horizontal boards that we call stringers. We have a bottom stringer, middle stringer and top stringer, two by six, 2x4 and 2x6 pressure treated. And the way we're going to install our bottom stringer, basically we're going to mark 2.5 inches on the bottom of each post, mark a line, add a screw on the line just to serve as a guide and to hold your stringer while you're setting your stringer and adding more 3.5 inch screws. And the reason why we left two and a half inches gap under our stringer is basically here only we have a topsoil and once we have a grass, grass is one and a half inch thick, we're only going to have one inch left space between our stringer and the ground. What you really want to have some kind of space because it's better for drainage. You never want to have your lumber sitting on your ground directly because it's going to be exposed to the water, it's going to rot much faster. Now we're just going to continue marking for the rest of our posts. And now we're going to start adding our top stringer and to make our fence six feet high we're going to measure from the bottom of our stringer and mark 67 and a half right here to the bottom of our upper stringer make sure you do the same thing for each of your posts mark 67 and a half make a line add a screw and hang your post and then your fence will nicely follow the slope of your land. Now as we have our top and the bottom stringer installed, we're going to install a middle stringer and all those three together make a great structural support for a fence. So you make sure you don't skip a middle one. And for the middle one, we're going to take a measurement from the top and it's going to be 35 inches from the top of your upper stringer to the top of your middle stringer here. And we're going to do the same measurement for each post. I'm going to add a screw to easier hang my 2x4. And I'm just gonna hang it right here and add a screws. Thank you. 
So this is basically a skeleton for our fence. We have top and a bottom stringer and a metal stringer attached for our 6x6 posts using 3.5 inch screws and that's what's going to hold our 1x6 vertical boards using 1.5 inch screws. When you start installing your vertical planks, you can start either on left or right side of your fence. Anyway, you're probably gonna end up with a cutoff piece on the end of your panel. Press your plank tight against the post and make sure your plank is not sticking out over the top like this or over the bottom. So keep it fairly even in between the stringers. Now we're gonna add two screws at the top. One in the middle. Now for the next plank, I'm actually gonna leave the gap like that using this two by four to space it out because later on, I'm gonna come up with another plank to cover it up and this plank will be overlapping these two and that's actually the way how to get a 100% privacy fence. Again, two at the top, two at the bottom, and one in the middle. When you're covering the gap, try to make your overlaps even on your left and the right side. It's very important here when you're adding a screws that we hit the planks underneath. So we're gonna add the screws on the sides in this overlapping area here and here. So we're gonna have two at the top, two at the bottom and two in the middle. So our first run is done, so I'm going to continue covering the gaps and spacing out the planks. By the way, the planks that I'm using are 1 by 6 by 6 feet long and the screws are deck screws 1 and a half inch long. And this very last step, I'm going to add a cover to the top and the bottom.
For the covers, we use one by six by 10 feet long and I cut them to adjust them to the size in between the posts. And what they actually do, they actually cover the rough ends of your planks at the top and the bottom and uneven ends of the planks. And they actually cover those screw holes from the bunch of screws that we added. So this is our final product, really a beauty of the fence. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. You can leave a comment down below and please subscribe.